The most hated part of building a gaming PC is plugging up all the cables, starting with the front I.O. cables that come built into your case. These will vary from case to case. This particular case has a USB 3.0 header that looks like this and goes into this spot on the motherboard. Pretty much all cases have this HD audio header and it goes into the bottom left of most every motherboard. Some cases will also have a USB 2.0 header, which will go into the bottom of the motherboard and should be labeled USB. Then you have the most dreaded front panel connector. There's really eight pins that you have to worry about in groups of two. The bottom right two is going to be the reset switch. Bottom left two is HDD. The upper right two is your power switch. And the upper left two are going to be plus and minus. I like to go in that order to make it easier. Then you can plug up any fan connectors. They typically look like this. And there are a bunch of different places on the motherboard that you could plug these up. But you're looking for pins that look like this on the motherboard. Then if your case has RGB and your motherboard also has RGB, the most common connector looks like this and goes on the motherboard at a spot that looks like this. Then you can install the power supply, so follow for part six.